In this video we're going to show you how to create your own customised uh, work instructions here. In uh, this particular video section we're going to talk about updating the formats we give you. So you come into the balancing and you go to the file and you go to the options down here. You're going to look for the settings and you're going to do the work instructions. And the first thing you might do is you might um, create, you can say you're going to add one here. And it's going to ask for a prefix. So we're ACS, so I'm going to create an ACS format here. And then we're going to select which study, we, which uh, format we wish to use here. Now I can browse here. You can see the two options I have. I have the work instructions and the JBS, which is the job breakdown sheet. So I might want to base this on my jo uh, work instructions here. And bring them in here. I'm going to call it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, ACS uh, standard. And then we just click on the OK. And it opens up. Okay, so here we've got the exact uh, format. It's now called ACS dash instructions config.xlsm. And you can see here, then I can change anything I want. So let's say I wanted to make this my new one. I'm just going to cha change one piece of text here. And what we have to do is we also have to create uh, the corresponding configuration file. You can see I've already got some data uh, picked in here. And the way we do this is we point at a particular field. So I'm using one that's already there. I might point at an existing field. This is the video link and I double click on it. And it can bring up the available data I can select from here. And I'm just going to put the video link in here. Now the only reason I want to get to this particular point is say I'm going to use it is so I can hit the save here. And what that's going to do, that's going to create the second file that's the, the companion file for the XLSM, which is a CFG file. And therefore, if I go now and I save this, so I've made a change and I'm going to save this, and I go to look at my uh, folder in the background here, which is in my documents, and my applied computer services, my templates, you can see here I've now got my CCS instructions config.xlsm and the corresponding uh, CFG file which we created just a minute or two ago here. So now we're actually ready to run these reports. The nice thing about doing this is uh, I've actually created a copy of a clone of the work instructions we gave you and I've created its own unique ID i.e. being the ACS ID which will never be overwritten if you get updates from us in terms of the, uh, the package itself here. Now if we want to use this now we just close it here and I'm just going to open up uh, one of the existing balances and let's see, I pick this guy up here. And then all I'm going to do is go to my summary and go to my work instructions. I'm going to select my ACS standard here. See, whatever you called it is what how it appears here. And then we can just pop this right out here. So I'm going to call this uh, just the ACS1. Click on it, click on the OK. And it will start putting them together for you in the background here. So you can see it down here, it's flashing. It's building up and you see it's the word news there so it's obviously the new version and it's putting the information into here that we want to manage uh, within our uh, work instructions here. So again it's very straightforward if you want to uh, take an existing format and use it as a basis for another one you can do so. In the next video in the section will show you to create one completely from scratch here.